Hey, my name is Hugh Bullen. I work at Porsche Center Calgary, and today I'll show you this um, certified pre-owned McCann. This is um, an old service loaner of ours, so um, we have a fleet of cars that we give to customers um, when their vehicles are in service, and then when they reach a certain amount of kilometers, we take them out of the fleet, and then they are then certified pre-owned. Um, this is actually a 2017, so um, basically everything I'll tell you is relevant for the current model and uh, for some of the previous models as well. Um, the Certified pre owned program gives you a additional two years of warranty and it makes your mileage, or kilometers I should say, unlimited. So there's no limit to how far you can drive um, over the next six years from the in-service date. So um, that's nice. If you would have a slightly older vehicle where the warranty has expired though, you will get um, two years of warranty uh, from the day you pick up the vehicle and then unlimited mileage. Uh, so basically two years. Um, with our service owners as well, we will put a full paint protection film on. We use a brand called Suntech, and we actually cover the entire front of the bonnet here, um, which is actually quite something on the McCann with the clamshell hood. It actually goes all the way down to the side here. There isn't a sort of a gap in the middle here where you can cut the film. Um, but it's also nice you don't get that ghastly line going across the front of the car. Um, we cover the headlights. We also cover the side mirrors. Um, we don't do the A pillars or the top of the roof, but you can choose to add that if you desire. Um, this color is volcano gray. Uh, actually, my favorite color in the in the lineup for the McCann. Actually, if you've got to get a Panamera or uh, or a McCann, I I really like that. I think the metallicness in it is is fantastic. Now this vehicle has uh, the 18 inch McCann S wheel. So this is actually the standard wheel on the McCann S, but we chose to add it onto this McCann. Um, will come with all season tires. Um, a lot of people choose actually to have this wheel to just change the tires between summer and winter. Um, and um, you don't have to faff around getting a second set of rims. Um, another option we selected was the premium package. Something on the exterior here will include bisenon headlights. So rather than the standard halogen on a McCann, on a two liter McCann, um, you get bisenons now. And then you have the nice four LED daytime running lights, um, and they do also have the headlight washer system here, so this will come out and spray the headlights. So when you get all that salt on the road and everything else, you'll, uh, it'll clean it right off. Um, so the engine on this is a two liter, 252 horsepower motor. Um, in my opinion, everything that anybody will need. Um, certainly in the compact SUV segment, this is um, this is perfect. Actually, surprisingly powerful. Um, Further around the side here, you might get a bit more of the color if the sun catches this. Um, you might not be able to make it out in the video, but it does have a uh, black side blade here. Now on the current models, 2018, you could choose to have that in uh, body color, but actually it does sort of contrast well with the, um, with the gray car, and then the black roof rails, and then the black trim here. Uh, if that was aluminum, I think it'd be better in, in body color. Um, this does have the black roof rails. Um, these you cannot add after the factory, so we typically order this on the majority of our cars. So you can um, pop a ski rack on there, or roof box, or you can then put bars for, uh, for the kayak on or something like that. Um, another nice feature of uh, this car is you chose to add Porsche entry and drive. So that'll give you uh, keyless uh, locking and entry, so you can place your hand there, it locks the car, and then to get into the vehicle, you can just uh, Pop your hand around here and open the door. Uh, something else that's quite nice, you're parking on 17th Avenue, let's say, or at the mall, and uh, you want to be careful of the mirrors, you can just press your thumb down on here, hold it down for a couple of seconds, and it will fold in the mirrors. This is a blind spot monitor as well. We call it lane change assist in the Porsche world. Um, this will shine bright orange when someone's uh, in your blind spot, and it will uh, flash at you if you indicate to, um, to move, something that's uh, a nice safety feature. Um, isn't standard, but we do add this. Um, another safety feature, which a lot of people ask about, is lane departure warning. Uh, that is standard. There is a camera in the top of the windshield here which will read lines on the road, and it will give you a sort of a, a sound um, whenever you are leaving the lane and you don't indicate. So the two of these together is quite a nice driving aid, especially if you drive a lot on the highway. So let's have a look further around to the back of the vehicle. You'll see the 3D LED taillights. Um, 
I think these actually look fantastic. It just uh, has a little bit more to a flare of the back of the vehicle. And they are really bright, so if uh, you are slowing down, they, they shine pretty far down the road, so you know that people are going to see you. You also have front and rear parking sensors, and there is a backup camera. Um, if you see these, there is a backup camera under there as well, which is lovely to have. And when you turn the steering wheel, it will uh, sort of show you where you are going to be parking, and it is going to show you how wide the vehicle is. Um, <coughs> trailer hitch is also included on this car. So um, you can top to about 3,500 pounds. Um, obviously fine for a bike rack or a ski rack, something like that. Um, now I'll open up the back here. Nice sort of hidden button there. And obviously there's a power tailgate. And you can control how high this is going to be. So um, if you're a little bit smaller, you can choose to have it lower down. Or if you have a height restriction for your garage, you can choose to have it lower. Um, you obviously have the parcel shelf, this is removable. Uh, you'll just pull off the strings there. And actually, I really like this sort of net in here. Really good for a set of gloves or um, a, uh, like a snow brush or something. So it's not gonna be covering any of your you know, bags or whatever in the back here. Um, as with all of our vehicles, spare liter of oil, just in case um, you're approaching that oil change time and you need it. Um, I think this is incredibly German. There's a filter, wet wipe, and a glove in there, which is very lovely. And we do use um, 0W40 Mobile One. So actually no block heaters in our cars. We'll, uh, they will start in the core temperatures here, which is great to know. Um, and all of our cars will come with the plastic trunk liner, rubber mats, and you will get the summer mats. Now underneath here, I'll show you this. There's what we call uh, an inflatable spare. So this is um, uh, just to save some space in the back here. You have your jack, and you also have uh, the Bose subwoofer there too. Um, you might ask here, well, how do I inflate it? There is a compressor hidden in here, which will plug into the 12 volt lighter, and then you can just inflate the, uh, the tire and change it. But the good news is with this sort of a pre-owned car and any of our cars, you will get uh, roadside assistance. So that's in continental North America, so United States and Canada. If you break them down, you can have some assistance and they'll do it for you. Because I personally wouldn't want to be doing that on the highway. Now, when it comes to closing the car, you can either close it or you can close it and lock the vehicle. But don't worry if you were to hit the lock button and you were to leave, for example, a handbag or a briefcase in the back and it includes your key, you aren't going to lock your key in the back of the car. It'll stop. Should we have a look inside? We have the standard seat. This is um, Alcantara, which is sort of a faux suede. Um, Actually, material that I really like is a little bit warmer in the winter, uh, and actually, surprisingly, it doesn't get scorching hot in the summer, so it's quite comfortable to sit on. Um, they are very comfortable seats, and this is the eight-way seat. Um, your movements are obviously forward, backwards, and then you can lift up the seat at the back and at the front, down, obviously as well, and then you have the recline. Um, same for driver and passenger. Um, and then the steering wheel on this car is actually a, a manual telescoping. Uh, steering wheel. Uh, obviously if you were to get a new car you can have the option of having that in power but this one is manual. Um, and then you have the nice two-tone so it's black on here and Luxor beige here. I do like having this in black and I think Porsche uh, made a good choice of keeping this black because you don't get the glare from the sun which sometimes you can have on a, on a light interior when it is light on the dash. Um, standard on all the McCann's is the, um, the analog clock here uh, which I really like actually, it's quite nice to be driving and have okay, the time here. Once you do have digital time there as well, it is quite nice and likewise always people, people always comment on it. Um, in the center here, quite a lot of buttons now uh, when you first look at it, but then you actually when you realize that we have dual zone climate controls, so I will have my own climate control here, full auto, and choose the directions, temperature, fan speed, and then the passenger could have it as well. That's quite nice to have um, especially considering, um, for example, my wife want to have it hotter and blowing like crazy. You might want to have it colder and not blowing or vice versa, right? It's quite nice to be able to have that. Um, it does have another lovely feature called auto rest or the rest feature. Um, just say, for example, you have finished work, you're driving home and you go to the grocery store, you shop, stop for 20 minutes, but it's uh, minus 20 out there, which it can get even colder than that. You'll hit the rest button, 
and lock your car and it will keep circulating that warm air in the vehicle. Something that I uh, really like. I'm not used to this cold in England, so it's nice to have that. Uh, I think that's great. Obviously, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and this one does have um, heated rear seats, which is something that's part of that premium package. Um, another part of that package actually is going to be uh, a Bose sound system, so uh, it is just going to sound a lot crisper and a lot better, um, something which I'm uh, a big fan of, uh, paying a little bit more for, for a better sound system. Um, <clears throat> last part of that is you are going to have automatic dimming mirrors, so um, when somebody's behind you, the rear view mirror and the side mirrors are going to have sort of a nice sort of dark bluish color to it, which is, which is fantastic. To the display now, um, I've actually already uh, plugged my phone in, um, which you can see um, it sort of hides nicely uh, in the armrest here. Uh, this is a, a 6S, so anything of this size will fit nicely. A plus, you probably won't be able to fit in this little slot here, but it will. they will fit in the back there. Um, now, the fact that I've uh, actually plugged my phone in already, I've got the Apple CarPlay set up, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, this doesn't have navigation as an option. However, when you have Apple CarPlay, you do have Apple Maps. And um, whilst it uses your data, it is fantastic for uh, driving to work in the morning or wherever, let's say. Um, it will actually tell you, hey, there's, uh, uh, it will tell you there's an accident, but you can see on here, you know, you can see the, uh, you can see the lines and you can see, okay, there's an accident at such and such a spot. Uh, so traffic is slow here which I really like and actually it will give you the uh, uh, get to know sort of your diary and your day and it will say okay here this is where you're going at this time whatever it may be uh, you can also have apps on here like Audible um, Spotify Tidal which um, I um, don't actually use but I, I've done the app to show people um, it's just much higher quality uh, uh, I guess streaming uh, bit rate I guess uh, and then you have tune in radio so for me if I want to listen to BBC Radio One. I might click on that. Um, uh, something that I, I think is fantastic: you get messages on phones, and Siri is fully integrated. Um, and as I'm sure you've noticed, it is a really simple touchscreen. It's uh, very easy to use, and uh, and it's the same in all of our cars. So, big big fan of that. Um, and here you have your CD car, a CD uh, slot, and an SD card slot. So you can actually download music from that. Or in here, you could use the SD, uh, sorry, the USB plug in there. Um, this is a multifunction steering wheel, so you'll have volume controls on the left, and then on the right, we uh, have access to this TFT display where we can see uh, the torque split, for example, um, where we are, um, where the power is between front and rear. Now, one of the things about this vehicle is it will transfer power up to 100% of the power to the front or to the rear, which um, it's very nice to have, especially sort of in these in these wintry conditions. Um, you also have you know, tire pressure monitoring system, which will tell you how many psi up or down you are from what's correct. Trip computers, your phone, um, and then it also has uh, the music as well that you listen to. And if you were to have nav, navigation will display on there. But like I mentioned, this one doesn't have nav. Um, yeah, nice black roof. It has a big sunroof as well, panoramic roof, which I think is. Wonderful to have. Um, seldom do I open them, but actually it's nice to have it because uh, it just makes it a little bit airy in here. You can, of course, close the blind. Um, I'm just going to show you in the back. I'm actually sort of sitting pretty much how I would sit here. Um, I might adjust it ever so slightly, but I'll show you in the back. Um, so I'm six foot tall, so to see what I, how I would sit, and then to see how I would sit in the back, I guess. It's nice for people to be able to know that. All right. If I was to sit in here, I can actually uh, sort of slouch over so slightly as well, and you'll see that I um, I still have plenty of leg room here. I can actually stretch my legs out a little bit, and um, yeah, I do have the heated seats, and um, the temperature controls here is uh, an average of the front two temperatures, plus or minus three degrees, so when you're sitting in the back here, if you have children or passengers in the rear, they can have control of their temperatures and the heated seats. But don't worry, you can uh, disable all of that if for some reason the buttons are being pushed a little bit too much. And then you do have a USB charger here, which would charge an iPad or an iPhone or you know, whatever you might use. And um, um, But it doesn't control the system out front, which is nice. There is also the 
armrest here, which is nice to have, uh, but it does have a drink cup holder there as well. Now, if you're a keen skier like I am, and if you don't like to use roof rails, it does have a pass through here. Uh, I'm sure you saw that was very easy to use. Um, so you can pop skis through there, maybe hockey sticks, or um, I know people comment on having maybe a driver, a really long uh, golf club will fit through there, no problem. Uh, it is also a 60-40 split. So when we are in the back here, you can pull this down, you'll see that this is the 60%, this being the 40 So if you've been shopping or something, you need to put something in the back, there is that room. And it goes, you know, very close to being perfectly flat in here. I mean, you can slide boxes in and out and it's very easy. So lastly, this vehicle is um, $60,000 plus GST. This is reduced by just shy of $9,000. Um, and hopefully that has uh, answered some of your questions about the 2-litre McCann and our certified pre-owned program. Thanks very much.